Alrighty then, back once again for another reaction. This time it's the Legends of Everfree movie, which is the fourth Equestria Girls film. Now, as far as I'm aware, there were no preview shorts for this, as in, you know, the non spoiler, you kind of need it for the context, like the Rainbow Rock shorts where they all got their instruments and started ponying up and stuff. And how Friendship Games had uh, Sunset foreshadowing that she was trying and failing to understand how the magic worked on uh, Earth. <laughs> it seems there was no such shorts for this. And any any things before the movie that I saw people were reacting to, it was more leaked clips from the movie itself. And I didn't want to see those. People were telling me to react to it. Like, no, I want to be as blind as possible for this. I only saw the um, first version of the official trailer that was uh, pushed around uh, like a month or two ago. Maybe three months ago. I don't know. It's been a while, I think. Um, but yeah, very interested. Some summer camp type of thing. Yeah, obviously I'm happy to see more Sunset involvement, uh, because she is my favourite Equestria girl, though she's probably helped by being a pony going over. <laughs> Which makes me wonder if we'll ever see the human-human Sunset. That would be interesting, but from the images I've seen, I don't think that this will involve her at all. This seems to be more about developing Sai some more, as she's come to be known. And, you know, her striking up a friendship with the sunset to carry on from their truce at the end of Friendship Games. Which is cool. So, I'm interested to learn uh, what the whole deal is with the um, main five plus sunset maybe getting, uh, you know, powers that don't necessarily relate to the elements. Or they might, I don't know. Yeah, this is like, just speculation like nothing I know for sure I've seen a brief screenshot of what Gaia Everfree looks like um, well I know that she showed up in the trailer but I mean like a set image to focus on and yeah we'll see we'll see we'll see yeah it, it looks all right I guess but I guess in context it might look a bit more impressive so yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say about this. Um, of course, I'm a bit later than most people were in getting around to this, but that's only because uh, it's difficult to find the time to watch a full movie. My parents are out at a gig tonight, so I have more than enough time to record into the night while editing the other reactions I've got stockpiled. Uh, I will also be reacting to Ruby uh, Volume 4 Chapter 1 tonight, so look forward to that. Anyways, I've wasted enough time because this is like a full movie, so we're going to get started. No. That looks like a comfy bed, not going to lie. It isn't true. <laughs> I'm calling it. bullshit on being able to be ready in 10 minutes. No right student here. can. <laughs> I know. Don't you have a super annoying alarm clock that goes... <laughs> oh, Pinky. You and your memes never stop. It's gonna be fine. We'll help you back. <sighs> we're gonna be out in the woods. When's she gonna need that? <laughs> if we were going to the moon, I didn't... Fashion emergency. One never knows, <laughs> darling. Let me just get changed. Oh, I see. So kind of like Starlight Glimmer. How is this possible? This so is a dream, I think. You at the friendship games. She, you and she's your having guilt. Never truly defeat me. <laughs> <laughs> ah! That's dark. Even for imagination. I like how they're using the fan name Midnight Sparkle. Shadows of your mind. I'll be back, Twilight. And this time really? I won't stop until I have all the magic. No! Twilight, wake up. I can't stop, silly. We're not eating yet. <laughs> There's Maybe something on the side of the bus. <laughs> I'm fine. We are 
we're gonna have so much fun. We're but that was dark, even for her imagination. I'm sure they died. Probably not gonna do that. Maybe you're not. Attention, students. Aww. We're almost there. But before we arrive, hey, I hey, I, I approve of Celestia's legwork. We need to go on this class field trip. <laughs> when we were your age, we made some of our favorite memories in these woods, and we're sure you will too. Now, who's look at Flash riding at the front of the bus like a nerd. <laughs> Everyone knows the cool seats at the back. Oh, hey, the intro sequence, I reckon. Oh, this bus makes me think, come on down to South Park and have myself a time. Ah. Oranges. Crash. Crash. <laughs> and now we're entering Gravity Falls. So be it. What do you have? Ah. Oh, a little bit. Is that you, Gaia? And here we are at Camp Horsey Horse. Hey, it was evident with that lantern that, you know, they carry on improving with the lighting. I see the sunbeams. Man, comparing everything after the first Equestria Girls movie, it's all so awesomely done. <laughs> that that was me on school trips. I had my Game Boy Advance. She's on a phone, but that that was what I looked like on school trips. And everyone's like, "Can I play on it?" And I, "No, you can drain my battery. Go away." just beautiful. I can't wait until we have our first nature walk. I definitely want to go on one of those. You're still talking. Adorable whipping creatures too. Yeah, specifically squirrels. More specifically, so I can chase them. <laughs> yeah, let's hope you don't I'm catch them. I'm looking forward to roughing it. I'm gonna make my own shelter, forage for food. Uh, you know they provide. And shit in the woods. Eggs, right? <laughs> yep. Still gonna forage though. <sighs> I'm just after some R and R. The past year has all been a bit too much for my tastes. I'll say we bought three evil sirens who tried to hypnotize. I love this shorts fashion. Ridiculously competitive rival school and two demons. Offense. Gotta keep the running joke. You'll get used to it. <laughs> yep. Canterlot High has become a regular magic magnet. Gonna be nice getting away to a place where we don't have to worry about that kind of stuff. Here you go, Twilight. Thanks. It's Flash, right? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> you, and we don't know each other very well. <laughs> cool story, bro. Right. Cool I story, bro. See you around. Direct meme placement. You know how there's that girl who looks just like you when she's here but lives in another dimension and she's a pony princess? Uh huh. Uh-huh. Flash kind of had a thing for her. Oh. <laughs> Hi, everyone! If you just I'm noticing I was used to them wearing those, um, like, long tube skirt like things. And so having them wear shorts reveals more leg and makes them look more attractive. Just saying. Think of me as that awesome guy. Oh it's hey, I've heard of you. Flash 2.0. Look who's not paying attention. We're going there. Are wide open, so 
So what activities will make this the very best week of your lives ever? Lots of sex. Archery, of course. Tetherball, naturally. Heroin. I know you're excited, but maybe give somebody else a chance to make a suggestion. Archer Crafts. My mom needs new pot holders. LSD. Ooh, I do make a mean sugar cookie. Marijuana. Nature walks. With walking sticks for everyone. Oh, me. Oh, uh, a fashion show where I design the of most fabulous camp looks inspired by today's hottest trends and have them modeled by my classmates in a gorgeous outdoor setting. A camp tradition. We have really? literally never done that. <laughs> Taking requests the rest of the time you're here, so if there's anything you'd like to do, anything you need, just ask. What there we go. Camp Instant gift? infatuation. That was my favorite camp ever free tradition. The camp gift, of course. Really? Yes, really. Well, I just thought. Then you thought wrong. Anyone else picking up on a little tension between Gloriosa and her brother? Yeah. Yeah. Every year, campers work together to create something useful. A gift for future campers. Working toward this common goal is key. Hey, to Trixie. Good to see you. That will last well beyond your time here at camp. Which is why it's so important. This gazebo was a gift from last year's group. Oh, 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 and the tower ah. pole and the sundial. Yeah, I place more importance campers. on Trixie showing up than Derpy, it. Vinyl, and Octavia. <laughs> That's how awesome Trixie is for me. Impractical since a sundial can't be used at night. Oh, you all seem like a, a really amazing group. So I'm certain you'll come up with something inspiring to leave behind. We're gonna burn this place to the ground fighting the big bad. When we give out tent assignments, so you can leave your heavy bags behind. Look at you hitting on the students. <laughs> Of course. Me too. Yeah. I got amethyst. Hey. Sapphire. That's pretty Me good. Too. I mean, I'm assuming I am. <laughs> Technically, sapphires aren't just blue. They can be pink, purple, Sapphire yellow. amethyst. Yeah, but they're mostly blue. That's why they're this, named after the Latin word. This is deliberate. <laughs> that means blue. I know. But did you know that sapphires are just rubies without chromium? No. Oh, so that, that, that must be why Ruby and Sapphire go well together. Why is that? Because you're in it. <laughs> oh, Smooth, Romeo. To all the campers. Not true. You're in the Ruby tent? Ha! <laughs> That's the worst one. Oh, man! <laughs> I'm just joking, buddy. Ruby tent is great. It's like a Sapphire, but with Chromium. I have no idea what you just uh, said, man. Coral tents do look an awful lot alike to the undiscerning eye. I better show you where it is. See you around. Hey, I like this. They had like what? good flirtatious yet Nothing. funny interaction. That was adorable. It was. Okay, everyone, go get settled in. I'm we'll glad they saw it. In 15 minutes to go over some camp safety rules. Let me know Boo. if you need anything. Something. Filthy rich. So nice. Just to see rich. You. What are you doing here? Camp is just getting started. Just taking in the scenery, Gloriosa Daisy. I've heard it's that he's so an asshole in this. <laughs> relaxing. Well, you can look around when camp is over. Now, if you don't mind. Well then. Fine. Filthy Rich is uh, an alumni of the camp. He likes okay. to on his old stomping grounds every now and again. Yeah, like I what say, I, I know a lot of little what things about this movie, he but I don't know the plot. <laughs> <sighs> I'm all for learning safety rules, but I do hope I can get started on my designs for the camp fashion show sooner that rather than way. later. <laughs> I still can't believe you talked Gloriosa into having a fashion show. We're in the middle of the woods for crying out loud. We're supposed to be running. Hey, have you never and seen hippies? Gloriosa's own wardrobe. Some of them dress sure really well. Look, even if we are in the middle of the woods. Fair enough. 
Just as long as you don't put me in one of your fancy pants outfits. You're gonna, aren't you? Mm. No. Yes! <laughs> don't worry. It will absolutely speak to your personal sense. Ooh. That is really cute. That guy, filthy rich? Huh? Oh, I guess so. I just have this feeling that Gloriosa is hiding something. Her brother is pretty cute, though, huh? <laughs> He's okay. Ooh, now look who's trying to hide something. No, I'm not. I love this sassy sunset. Oh my god. You seemed a little freaked out on the bus earlier. Probably had another one of her Hey, you two can relate. I'm fine. I mean, what do I have to complain about? Ever since I transferred here, everyone from CHS has been really nice and accepting. Especially considering what happened at the friendship games. So, like that Starlight, your you're fault. not exactly but comfortable with that. The one who encouraged you to try and use all that magic to win the games for Crystal Prep. You weren't ready to have that kind of power. But it's over now. And if there's any group that's going to forgive you for something that happened in the past, trust me, it's this one. You guys come in Yeah. Be right there. We're kind of like the nicest characters in the entire world of cartoons. Found it. <laughs> I'm using the force. Did you? How is this possible? I can't believe this. It's hey, trailer line. Amazing. Are you kidding? This is great. I mean, we've all ponied up before, gotten the whole ears and wings and tail thing, shot magical rainbow lasers, but... <laughs> I love how it excites you. Happen. How did you do it? I don't know. Maybe I didn't. Maybe it's her. Her who? Nothing. Never mind. Ah, uh, you need to be about honest it? about your and feelings. You please not bring this whole levitating thing up to the others? Why not? You heard Applejack. This is supposed to be a place where everyone can get away from magic. I don't want them to know I brought some crazy new kind with me. If you really don't want me to, I won't say anything. Aw. I really don't. Okay, but this isn't necessarily a bad thing. <laughs> I'd probably try it. I think you're just going to have to pick it up. Though, to be honest, I could be entertained just spending my time with a talking dog all day. I didn't say anything. Just here to make sure everyone would... Ah, I think I missed something. Did you need something? Nope. Because if there is anything I can do to make this week the best week ever, you just let me know. She might have said something suspicious for Sunset to say, what did you say? I hope not. People that chipper make me nervous. Villain? I guess not all people. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? It looks like a diamond shining in the sun. Shine bright like a diamond. The, air, the cool breeze. The birds that land on your finger. I Trailer. What happens to you? <laughs> Lake activities are available every day until sunset. So if you want to canoe, sail, windsurf, or swim, just let me know. What if I want to do something without letting you know? Whoa. I know I'm charming, but you have to fall for me. Laid it on so thick. Guess I can't not, get too not the same women. After all, she is in my twilight. Not that the other twilight was my <laughs> semantics. Or, you know. Yeah, I get it. But your Twilight is a princess in Equestria. Hate to break it to you, but that's where she's going to spend most of her time. So you're saying I just need to get over her? Kinda, yeah. That's what the fandom oh, wants. <laughs> you're not pulling any punches. Not really my style. Sorry. This is a safety hazard. I like this. I suggest we close down the dock for the remainder of the camp. It, more lines for Flash <laughs> equals oh, more sure pissing off his haters the of and camp. more character. Be patched up a bit. I've got or maybe we do. If you ask me, this whole dock needs to go. Building a new one could be our camp gift. Sure would benefit us, but a nice new dock would benefit future campers too. That is a good idea. It's an awful lot of work. I wouldn't want you guys to miss out on doing other fun camp stuff because you're so busy building a dock for future campers. I hear what you're 
what you're saying, Timber. <laughs> but we're Canterlot Wondercolts. We've got a reputation to uphold. And there was uh -huh. no way we were going to leave this place without contributing the most awesome camp gift ever. I'm with Agent. Building a new dock is definitely it. What do you guys think? Yeah, yeah. yeah let's do it. Settled then. Looks like it. That's some tension, all right. People are going to take that tension the wrong way and ship them regardless of the side why thing going on. Nice and sturdy, and we can add a wood carved sign that says Camp Everfree. And little boxes of food so you can feed the ducks and fishies. Oh, we'll add lanterns so you can see at night. Hey. Stunning. And we'll make an absolutely I like how they got the artist to sketch it all. I don't know her name, but that's cool. And canoes and feeding the wildlife. Mm, you say tomato, I say perfect place to showcase glamorous boho chic stylings. What do you guys think? It's going to be a lot. Well, try asking for that at the grocery store. <laughs> Looking pretty good. You get it? Uh, duh, the toolbox. <laughs> that's cool. I made mine. Was there any need? <laughs> Making lanterns out of solar-powered garden lights. Pretty crafty there, Timber. You think that's crafty? <laughs> you should see my macaroni art. I'm like the Picasso of noodles. <laughs> All right now, you've made this, a lot this, of progress. This but casual flirting is nice. Can pick this up tomorrow between our other it's much better than... Everyone I touch your hand and, and smile at you the from the first movie. Scary stories. <laughs> Trailer. And that, and I'll stop doing that. And realized she was wearing purple socks with a burgundy dress. <gasps> <gasps> I've been traumatized. I don't know if I want to keep watching. The same color family. <laughs> stop it. Please have mercy. I have to make it through the night. That was a terrifying story. Yeah, I'm terrified you'll try to tell it again. Don't Anyone tempt the fates. I have one, but I'm warning you. You might as well hug a friend now. That's how scary it is. If I had my dog, I'd hug him, but I don't. It's time I told you about the legend. Of Gaia Everfree. In other words, let's begin the plot. Many years ago, <laughs> my great grandparents came to this forest. Seeing its beauty, they decided that it would be the. Oh, okay, so they're siblings. Camp. I get it now. But once they started building, strange. The green hair and the happened. pink hair. One pitch black night. When the wind was howling, a tree branch crashed through the roof of their cabin. Hey, <laughs> Wilhelm! And ran outside, only to see a giant creature rising from the earth. She had wild That is like pretty the cool. A tree. Her mouth had jagged rock teeth, and her eyes were pools of black tar. But her aura shimmered like diamonds. Anywhere she went, she left a trail of gem dust in her wake. Trembling. So my great grandparents asked who she was and what she wanted. Gem from Gem and the Holograms. She told Corrupted. Her name was Gaia Everfree, an ancient spirit who held domain over the forest, and that my great grandparents were trespassing on her land. They begged her to let them stay and build their camp, to share this wonderful place with others. Gaia Everfree finally agreed, but warned them that they would not be able to keep it forever. Someday she would return and reclaim the forest as her own. So if you see Why couldn't she reclaim it on that day? <laughs> you'll know that it is... Gaia Everfree! <laughs> hey guys! Sorry, didn't mean to scare you! Then why'd you come out of the bushes? <laughs> I took the scenic route because the forest is beautiful at night! But no one else should do it without a guide, okay? All right, everybody. Time Stop being suspicious head. because you're cute uh, and I want to like that? you. You have extra toothbrushes. I forgot mine. Sure do. I'll get one for you. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm scared of the dark. Hi, <laughs> snails. Of course, I got Snips it. has yet to win me over, but you appeared in Bootball <laughs> Season and I like you now. Sorry, Spike. <laughs> I guess that story got to me. 
Why? It can't be real. I don't know. Gaia Everfree could be some creature. You mean like from a question everything? Of this world. What happened with the sirens? Uh, sounded more like something that Timber was making up just to scare us. Do you really want to take chances with everything that's happened? By some power crazed magical creature. Oh, here, here. We've had to deal with more than our fair share of those. At the fall formal, our musical showcase, the friendship game. I mean, you can have that all right, of course. <laughs> I'm kind of tired. I'm going to turn here. And suffering from Starlight Syndrome. And Sunset Rainbow ends. Rock Syndrome. I think she's still pretty sensitive about it. Our lips are sealed. Kinky. <laughs> Here I am. And you don't have a Luna to solve these dreams. Yo, know, I doubt human Luna has the ability to do that. No! Ah, sleepy sunset. Uh, Twilight. I but that must that suck. She can't go to sleep without having nightmares. Oh no. Is it time to get up I forget what TV program I saw that in. Twilight, we Whether it was Doctor Who or something this. else. No, we don't. <laughs> no breeze. Hey, I know you don't want to, but I really think we need to figure out what's going on with your magic. If you could learn to control it... But that's just it. I'll never be able to control it. Was that you? What happened? I didn't mean to. We didn't see anything, so we don't know what happened. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, it was so weird. We were yeah, in the middle of the lake with no wind. Then all of a sudden, BAM! The wind picked up and we were pushed right into the dock. Wind doesn't no! say BAM, it says it WHOOSH! Scary, do you? No. <laughs> Trixie's face! Spirit, show yourself! The great and powerful Trixie commands it! What's that? I'm glad that Trixie has lines. I'm happy. Man, all our hard work ruined. At least the fishies are eating well. Let's salvage the <laughs> can out of the water. Maybe we can still fix this. We have to try. Cause <laughs> Everfree needs a runway. Doc. Doc, yes, that's what I mean. <laughs> oh, okay. Don't get lost. It used to be so simple. It was a world. I didn't know what I didn't know, and life seemed pretty good. But now the darkness rises. That is amazing imagery. I like that. Deep inside of me, her power overtakes me. Can I keep the water? And the lighting. Be free, and I can start to be whole. I can start to be me. But instead, I am struggling with all. Oh, to be safe, I'm going to be muting the songs uh, on YouTube. Just in case SME goes block crazy like they did with Friendship Games. was a good song. I like that refrain, the midnight in me. That's good alliteration. <laughs> and like I said, the thing that stuck out for me most there was the visuals. So many squirrels. Spike. Their blood down my chin. Man, I was having the best dream. 
Wait, that dream could be a reality. Before you Would you put away space, your murderous I rampage for one today. second? I really need to talk to her. What happened? Did she do that lifting things off the ground thing again? That's just it. I don't know if it was her, but if it was, we need to deal with it head on. I can track it down. Apply directly to the forehead. Keep it together. Deep breaths. You are not a monster. No! Uh, oh, hi. <laughs> what are you doing here? Uh, Taking a shit. For you. <laughs> oh, I just went on a nature walk and got a little lost. Let me show you the way. I'm kind of an expert at these woods. I've lived here my whole life. That must have been nice. Growing up. It was a shame when my monkey yeah, tail fell off. It has its downsides. When I was younger, I wished we'd sell this place so we could live in a town like normal people. Really? <laughs> Implying people in the woods aren't normal. I really wanted to hang out at the mall. <laughs> no, it's true. They really are all axe murderers. Told that to anyone. <clears throat> you must be special. Nah. And not just because you have a tree branch in your hair. <laughs> How long has that been in there? Not long. Just the whole time we were talking. <laughs> well, why did you say something? This is sweet. Help Twilight deal with the magic stuff a little later. <laughs> Rock climbing is all about perseverance and trust. Rarity, you can trust that Applejack will spot you. Yeah, so you can totally go faster than you're going. Rainbow Dash. <laughs> Sorry, I've been waiting to do this since we got here. Well, you have to wait a little longer, darling. Oh, good. Twilight. I've never if been you rock me, climbing. I can go. I'll go get another harness. I'm not sure. I better make sure my sister doesn't need anything. Okay, so you would have said it anyway, your siblings. Twilight, there you are. I was looking for you. Is that an earthquake? We aren't near any fault lines. Hey! Who left this crystally dusty stuff here? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, the hippies' drugs. Well, okay. That should have burned your hands horribly. Is everything okay over there? Uh, I don't know what happened. I didn't even pull the rope that hard. It's like she was light as a feather all of a sudden. I was scared half to death. It wasn't my fault. Uh, let me help you get your harness off. No, thank you. Bye. What in the world just happened? Oh dear. I am so sorry, I think. Did I just do whatever that was? I don't think it was <laughs> I love her I'm done with this shit face. <laughs> Me too. You're not the only one with a new kind of magic. This is great. No, mm -hmm. it's not. Rarity and Applejack could have really hurt each other. Why is this happening? I don't hi girls. Anything I can do for you? Uh, Applejack I'm all up in your business. Oh, no. She's going to need warm towels, dry clothes, oh, and a hot cocoa. I've got this! Fluttershy? Oh boy. What happened? That sounds like a bomb went off. No, we were just decorating cookies and... That was all! You need more sprinkles and you need more sprinkles! <laughs> and you get sprinkles and you get sprinkles! Pinky, I'm reporting you for links oh, to Isis. Hey, why don't you lay off touching stuff for a while? Oh dear. Oh my. We really should clean all of this up. Aww. Can someone help me out? Thank you, Mr. Bird. Why, of course I can get you a little something to- <gasps> Oh, I'm happy for the human Fluttershy. Chirp. Well, I don't know if you're the only bird I can understand. Oh, no. I'm happy. For your friends. She can speak to them now. That's awesome. Were you just talking to the birds? Um, yes. That's cool. Did you tell them what happened? So crazy. 
I hoisted Rarity up the rock climbing wall like it was nothing. Like I had way more strength than I usually do. Okay, so super strength. thing appear out of nowhere, which normally I'd be excited about. I mean, the facets were just perfect. And the Rarity... Sorry. It knocked Applejack over and then it disappeared. So I guess it's like a shield. But you can also blast forward. Ah! Like the flash. do that? Some sort of super speed. Why were you gone for so long? Because I lost it when I got far away, and then it came back when I got close to camp. <gasps> okay, so it's something at the camp. And that explains your line. All right. I haven't, but Twilight hasn't either. <laughs> so much for my theory that leaving CHS would mean leaving any new magic business behind. Something at the camp must be making this happen. Um. Gaia and oh. oh my oh. <laughs> I was looking for you. Here, I brought you some towels. Is this constant foreshadowing because she appeared at the end of the campfire story and a silhouette looked like it then. Is she Gaia Everfree? Gloriosa. I kicked my bead bag into the lake. I'll get you another one. And I'm all out of arrows. Yay, you're speaking. Arrows coming right up. There you are! Filthy Rich is back. You want me to handle it? Absolutely not! I've got this! Fluttershy, enough with the screaming! I didn't scream. Oh. Once. That must be what I missed. Attention campers! Anyone Interesting. Who's in making floating paper lanterns, please meet us by the picnic tables. I don't know about the rest of y'all, but I've been looking forward to coming here for a month. Maybe we forget about this new magic for a bit and just try to focus on enjoying our time at camp. <laughs> well, if it's appearing without you controlling it, then you don't have a choice. I've barely gotten to whoop anybody in Tetherball. I think we should try to figure it out. But if letting it go for now is what the rest of you want... <laughs> Let's ignore our problems and put them away. That won't bite us in the ass, no siree. What are you doing? Putting marshmallows in my lantern? Then we'll be like Duh. it'll be beautiful and delicious! Hey Twilight, learn with everyone else. Sunset said something at camp is causing the other girls to get new magic. Yeah, you think it's you. I think it's Midnight Sparkle. She's still part of me. I can feel it. And I think her magic is infecting my friends. What are we gonna do? I don't know what I can do. Okay, everyone. Tell them. That's a start. <laughs> what do you think they're gonna do? Kill you? <laughs> it can't hey, hurt cool to let them lantern. know that you're having concerns. Mine's my face. <laughs> I, I do admit this guy is adorable. I really hope he's not gonna do a frozen turn and actually be an asshole. Ready and go! I knew this would be what they were going for when they said their lanterns. Chinese lanterns! Aww. Oh well, now I get to eat it! <laughs> yep. Did you eat the paper as well? <laughs> hey, I noticed that. Sai Twai and. Green haired guy, can't remember his name, there's bumped. Twilight? <laughs> Twilight No, come back. You silly little girl. Twilight? What are you doing out here? We're we're meeting a cab to take us home. She thought you'd talk her out of it. Because I would. Twilight, you can't <laughs> leave. Nice. You don't think it was the spirit, do you? No. So, Sunset's me. power is like I listening to the voices She's within. She's part of me. I can feel it. And I think her magic is oh, affecting my friends. The, the sister's possessed. And she can hear her screams Twilight, from inside. That's no dark. There's only you. How did you know what I was thinking? 
When I touched your hand, I could see things. I could understand why you were leaving. It's a bit like what Goku did magic. to Krillin on Namek. This is my new magic. Just this read his incredible. thoughts no, with a palm magic. on the head. I'm infecting you now. Twilight, you have to stop looking at this as a bad thing. Easy for you to say. Magic turned you into something beautiful. The last time I tried to use it, it turned me into a monster. Did you not catch the part where she said it turned her into something awful again? beforehand? Yes. Last time I turned into something amazing. But I've let magic turn me into a monster too. Okay. So if anyone understands what you're going through, it's me. I can help you, Twilight. And the rest of our friends can be there for you too. But hmm. if you run away. <sighs> I'll stay. But I still don't think it's a good idea. Shinji, to stop the running away right and get in the damn robot. Why this is happening. <laughs> Understood. You mustn't run away, Shinji. <laughs> Wait. Twilight? Timber? I'm so glad it's just you. Wait, what are you doing out here? With an axe. <laughs> I was chopping down firewood. In the middle of the night? We needed more for tomorrow night's campfire. And if I didn't take care of it tonight, it would be one more thing Gloriosa would add to her list. I've got this. <laughs> what about you two? Why are you hanging out in the woods in the middle of the night? Oh, I was sleepwalking. We were secretly hoping you'd come along, engage in a threesome, no biggie. I'll walk you guys back. <laughs> I'll protect you from... Gaia ever free. Ever what a face. Free, ever what a set of faces. Come on. That's obviously just a spooky story you made up to tell around the campfire. Oh no. It's legit. How else would you explain what happened to the docks? And that weird thing where the earth shook? Uh, come on. I know a shortcut back to the tents. Oh. Oh. How lewd. How forward. Oh my. Shit. Huh. I think we just found our Gaia Everfree. But why would he work so hard to make us think she was real? You heard what he said about wishing his sister would sell this camp. If nobody wants to come here because it's home to some angry ancient nature spirit... Yeah, but why was she so screaming on the inside? We should tell Twilight. Not yet. She's obviously going through a lot right now. We should probably be 100% sure before we tell her the guy she likes is a jerk who's trying to run everybody out of camp. <laughs> Let me guess, Sunset. You like him, don't you? How dare you? <laughs> uh, you gonna give us a hand here, Rarity? I would love to, but I really need to get the stitching on this poncho done if it's going to make it into the camp fashion show. Oh, you and your fashion. <laughs> will ever be finished. The dock is our gift to the camp, and it's gonna get finished. That is, if Rainbow Dash would hurry up and bring me more wood. I can't go any faster. I don't want to end up in the woods again. Don't be silly. And in this direction, really? in the water. <sighs> I know I said we should try to forget all that about motion, the magic though. business, but I can't. What if I hammer the board into splinters? Uh -huh. Oh shoot! I'm all out of nails. Oh, here you go. Nail. <laughs> Gather the Dragon Balls. What? Oh, did you think the nails would explode like the sprinkles? Oh my! Oh, that didn't happen, huh? Uh, sorry, girl. Did you just I imply a nail bomb? Oh. oh, none of us do. Which is why we shouldn't pretend this isn't happening. Do you have them now too? It started last night. When I touch people, it's like I can feel what they're feeling and see their memories. Uh, I'm not gonna say it. That explains so much. I'm jumping out my window now. <laughs> because it doesn't seem like the ideal time to get them. What if it turns out that they could actually make things better? Second song? We have magic and it's oh. But when it found you, you know it was fate. And it might seem scary now, but it can be wonderful too. So how about we embrace the magic? 
sunsets singing voice. Oh, best part of the movie. I'm sure this movie will give plenty of good shenanigans things as well. I'm gonna stab this through someone. <laughs> oh, cool. They're like getting practice. That isn't fastened on, the wind will just blow that down. I'm walking around singing and not helping, but it's okay because I sound great. <laughs> She's still singing, guys. Yeah, but it's great. <laughs> And into the water. <laughs> okay, that was pretty awesome. And look what you managed to accomplish. Encore, encore, encore. <laughs> please, 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 can we do a run through for the fashion show on it right this minute? Thought With another song. The stitching on your poncho. <laughs> I am now. Get started without me. I, got oh, I love the way Rarity announces, it pronunciates things. Magic too. Uh, not that she has any. Pronounces things. I cannot English. Ah, this is all too much for you. You have to let it go. I knew it. Let it. He wants her to get rid of the camp. <laughs> Sunset Shimmer? What were you doing behind that door? What? Um, <laughs> Just uh, sniffing it. I like doors. Uh, there it is. Hey, listen, I'm glad I ran into you. I really wanted to thank you. Is that Balder? For what? <laughs> For the tough love. Telling me I should get over Twilight. I needed to hear that. Sure, no problem. Is something wrong? What? No. Why? Come on, Sunset. We used to date. I know when something's bothering you. Ooh. <sighs> okay. We're bringing this Here's up. The deal. My friend really likes someone, but I don't think that someone is who she thinks they are. I don't want to upset my friend by telling her what I think because I also want to protect her because if what I think is happening is really happening, then she deserves to know, you know? No. But what I do know is that your friend <laughs> is lucky to have someone like you to look out for them. Really? Yeah. Oh well, my. You've changed a lot since we went out. You're so much nicer. Thanks. I'm glad you noticed. Uh, uh, is this a hint Maybe that they'll get back together? Over as friends. Uh, uh, sounds great. I gotta go. Cool. Yeah, I want to start over later too. Uh. <laughs> Dip, he's there again. <laughs> okay. I like what this film is doing with Flash's character. That's good and needed. If Flash haters still aren't satisfied, I am gonna flip. There's already nothing technically wrong with him. People are just like, Twilight, my waifu! He's definitely up to something. <laughs> it's sunset. She says to meet her by the rock quarry. I thought we weren't supposed to hike out that far. She says it's important. It's time for a death battle. What is that? <laughs> Shh. 
What's going on down there? I think it's Gaia Everfree. Or rather someone who wants us to think she's back. Come oh on. no, she is back. <laughs> Ooh, pretty. This place is beautiful. It is. Animation wise. I can I can feel it. Wait. I thought Timber was just faking there was a magical nature creature. Are you saying it's real? Timber? What does he have to do with any of this? Nothing. It's all me. Yeah, you see you were giving oh, hints of this. But but they're screaming inside you, isn't there? Was the one trying to make Which is dark. Everfree was back. It was you who was trying to scare everyone away? I would never try to scare anyone away from Camp Everfree. My oh my. You fell behind on your payment, Gloriosa. I own the land now. Please, my great grandparents founded this place. It's been in our family for generations. You have to let the camp stay! Instead of turning it into a spa resort that will line my pockets with more money than this camp ever could? <laughs> I don't think so. Please! I, so I, he's I, true I smarmy businessman. Time. Fine. I'll give you till the end of the month. <laughs> <laughs> I like how Sunset is probably getting all this within a split second. <laughs> Otherwise, that's a long time to just be awkwardly touching her with glowing eyes. <laughs> so yeah, this is a possession situation. Yeah, they're corrupting you. I can control their power now. You don't know that for sure. I, I like his brotherly concern. That's nice. And it's being taken away. If this has to be our last week here, I'm going to use whatever it takes to make it count. Hmm. <sighs> <laughs> Okay. Maybe you're not ever free, but you're borrowing some of their power. Over the place. I had to tell them something to cover for you. Okay, you're not evil. You're just not in control. Ridiculous story. Ah, this is all too much for you. You have to let it go. Timber wasn't talking about letting go of the camp. He was talking about you letting go of the magical geodes. All those things you were doing to make this week the best week ever, every time you used magic to do them, it caused They're too a left. problem somewhere else. Timber was covering for you. How do you know what I was doing with the geodes? How do you know about the magic? I can see things, feel things. <laughs> And dead people. I have magic too. And so does she, and so do our friends. Gloriosa, Timber wasn't wrong. Maybe you should stop using magic. Too much of it can be dangerous if you can't control it. But now I'm curious it. as to why they were screaming inside and it. I'm going to use it to save my camp. I just need more power. No! I've seen enough yada yada yada. Okay, so... Sorry, girls. I know what I need to do. But I feel like we're not on the same page. So... <laughs> so like a super souped-up version of yourself, but you're not quite the full guy at Everfree. That was a lot more bushy. Hey, I think this is Equestria Girl's first damsel in distress scene. Nice. Oh, they're missing our dress rehearsal. 
I suppose we can get started. These are some that. good outfits. Whenever you're ready. Hmm. Told you you'd like it. It's hey, I like it. I guess. I do get to keep it after camp, though, right? <laughs> this is adorable. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm here to fuck shit up. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> she looks different. Yeah, she looks taller. Never change. Please. <laughs> this is only a preview. I've got another entire line I'll debut at the real Of course thing. you do. This is now goth cam. She's real. Ah, why no? <laughs> Gloriosa? What are you doing? That's Gloriosa? Am I going crazy or her feet not touching the ground? <laughs> I have an announcement of course. to make. <laughs> Filthy Rich wants this to be the last session of camp ever free. But don't worry. I got this. It's interesting that the villain of the piece oh, come on! is using the power of someone that wants the camp gone to try and keep the camp here, but going too far and causing problems in itself. Now the magic is my salvation. Gather close in my protection. We will stand. Villain song, I like it. Well, though, like I said, she's not a typical villain. She's got good intention, but going about it completely wrong. Right here, you have me to protect you within these walls of Oh, that's nice. Protecting the children, that, that's cool. Hmm. But we have held it for generations. This is just a complication. We will stand forever free. You've got a nice voice as well. Trust in me, this is for your own <laughs> Trust in me. Jungle Book. <laughs> Way to midnight. Oh, major props to Daniel Ingram's team for this music. I was able to listen to most of that and it was epic. What are we going to do? What we always do. Save the day. <laughs> Do you mind? Me that too. really hurts. <laughs> Enough about our wardrobe. We gotta stop Gloriosa from trapping everybody in here. I like how the pony ears appear and the wings. <laughs> I like how they didn't wait until now to be good at this. We showed them doing gradual improvements uh, during Sunset Song. It really helps pace out them learning to control it. That's good. 
Uh, Kobe? Frag out! <laughs> oh dear. This is creative use of the powers, I gotta say. Now you're basically like Sonic. Fire in the hole. This isn't working. Her magic is too strong. <laughs> She's like, we have to build a wall. Nice work, <laughs> <laughs> it's no use. It's made of solid cardboard. Something that big. It's our only chance of getting out of here and helping our friends. Nice. I like that as well, because she wasn't practicing with it, it took a toll on her. That's another nice touch. Why are you fighting me? I'm doing this to save our camp! I'm doing this for you! <laughs> Gloriosa, let's <laughs> just think about this for a moment, shall we? I mean, I think Camp Everfree is absolutely delightful, but I just don't know that I'm quite ready to give up my weekly trips to the spa. To the spa? Hey. To the spa! <laughs> uh, stew, right? This isn't the way. I appreciate your concern, Timber, but I got this! <laughs> I got this! <laughs> Okay, so where's the solution? Right. Do you think you can use your magic? I don't want to use too much. Midnight Sparkle could take over. Twilight! Our friends are in there. Okay. Please, Gloriosa. What you're doing is crazy. You have to listen to me. That isn't Gloriosa. Oh? Twilight! Don't say you're okay! That isn't your sister. It's someone who's been consumed by equestrian magic. Whoever you are, you have to let my sister go! Please, Gloriosa, come back! I need you! Aww. Gloriosa! I love this close family. Oh. It sort of makes me think about, say, like, Dipper doing something similar for Mabel. That can say instantly, like, like, oh! <laughs> I can't keep this up forever! It's up to you. You can use your magic to pull the brambles apart. No, there's too many of them. It would take too much magic. I can't. It's the only way. You have to embrace the magic inside you. But what if she takes over? What if instead of saving she doesn't place, exist I anymore? Midnight sparkle and only make things worse. That won't happen. We won't let it. But yeah, that is a point. She was defeated before. <laughs> Why would she think that they couldn't do it this time? To be stronger than she is. Oh. Okay. So a part of it is still there. I will always be a part of you. Twilight, listen to me. You are in charge. You are a light, darling. A force for good. Yeah, you can kick the darkness's butt. We're here for you, Twilight. And we'll be here no matter what. We All right. I'd have preferred it if it was just sunset, but this works too. Oh, 
I am Son Goku, and I am a Super Saiyan. Interesting how, as a non-original pony, she can still get the wings and the metaphysical horn. Alright. Suited and booted. Regal. Can we get a close-up of Sunset, please? That's obviously the best one. <laughs> nice visuals. This whole movie's been nice visuals. Oh, she dead, bro. She dead. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. Since we're not related. <laughs> now that's an awful joke to me. <laughs> you did it! I love that Pira like hair. What are these? I'm not sure. But clearly we have some kind of connection to them. I almost don't care what So they are now the human world's elements. <gasps> with the other collection I was working on for the camp fashion show! That's good to know. <laughs> That's probably cancelled, isn't it? I am so sorry. I only wanted This happens every other week. It doesn't matter. Ever had. And instead, I've made it the worst. Maybe it's for the best that I'm losing the camp to filthy rich. No, it's not. This camp has meant so much to so many people. My sister and me included. Aww. Why do you think we wanted our students to come here? We can't let Filthy Rich take this place away. If camp meant so much to you two, maybe it meant as much to the other campers who came here in years past. And maybe All right. we can get them to help save it. So this is a recess movie-like thing. If anyone watched that. Our band could play. I could help write a new song just for the occasion. All right, closing song. <laughs> Those are all good ideas, but where would we hold it? We could hold it in the crystal cave. <gasps> A crystal ball? <laughs> I admire everyone's enthusiasm. Really, I do. But I, I just don't know how we're going to plan a ball by tomorrow and invite everyone. We got this! More specifically, Pinkie Pie might have this. Oh, cool. I used to think that stories were just that. Set in stone, concrete as a fact. It didn't dawn on me that I could change history. Now I know I'm writing my own song. But my way to the ending that I want. I'll turn a tragedy into an epic fantasy. Oh wow, everyone's so beautiful. <laughs> I think Rarity Dash might have a problem with that one. <laughs> the wrong characters are holding hands. I like this dubstep but not really wub in the background. <laughs> the yeah, you kind of forgot about that, didn't you? <laughs> Boom. Kinky. <laughs> I like bondage, sue me. <laughs> Hey, don't reuse it like that. Although it does look good. Oh, come on. That is cool. 
I just wish they didn't reuse that slight bit. Oh, it's her bass! Gr brilliant, Applejack. Brilliant noise you're making with that. This movie is so full of things I can use in PMVs and shenanigans clips. And for helping us raise enough money to... Save Camp Everfree! Yeah! Thank you for everything. Uh, if I just asked for help in the first place. Don't sweat it. It's kind of what we do. And that's what Saito I learned. <laughs> Not to brag or anything, but mm -hmm. it's pretty cool how I saved all those campers from those Rubus fruticosis. Blackberry brambles. I'm familiar with the genus. It's just a little weird you say you saved the campers. I thought I saved them. Yeah, but I saved you from falling on the dock so that you could save the campers. So technically, it was all me. <laughs> I'm really glad I met you. Uh-oh. What? That sounds like a goodbye. And here I was hoping we'd still be able to hang out. Maybe get dinner and catch a movie yeah I really like that oh good I was hoping that's what this meant oh uh <laughs> what? Okay. I need to borrow timber there are some donors I really want him to meet they were good friends you with my dad how dare you interrupt that? Save me a dance, okay? <laughs> That's why Atomic asked me for what episode the Ruby scene with I'll Save You a Dance was from. Awesome new superpowers. <laughs> oh my gosh. Set up the stage and still in time to pick up pizza. I love my super speed. About that. I think the crystals are the source of the superpowers. Yes, yeah, so now you have your own permanent superpowers. Are you? No. In fact, I think maybe we were meant to have them all along. Me too. This is an interesting setup for the next movie, that's for sure. You know that it's coming. Did you ever finish that kiss? <laughs> there is one thing I'm still wondering about, though. What's that? Where did the magic that hit this cave come from? We shall answer that next time? Maybe? Or right now? It really did come from Equestria. <laughs> you called it, Rainbow Dash. You said, what if it's from Equestria? I love these credit songs they started doing with the VAs. Well, and the ones that sing for the characters. Yeah, the, the, yeah them, them. Okay, so that's three songs I have to mute. Oh, there's more. There were more songs. Okay. I guess I'll have to mute this one as well. It depends what SME is claiming. This reminds me of the Gravity Falls series closer. You know, there's imagery on either side
This is gonna be weird, me muting the song and sitting here in silence. I'm listening to something that only I can hear, and it's really good. <laughs> I think I will put a skip option at the front of the credits. You know, tell you where to go to skip this silence. <laughs> if you've watched this far, it's too late. <laughs> Third time okay. Is the charm, or is it fifth? I've lost track. All that matters is that the runway is finished. I think you mean the dock. Oh, tomato, tomato. Let's <laughs> celebrate! L-H-X. You tried. Good job. Alright, get rid of you. Okay. Wow. Now, I will say that the climax didn't have the same feeling of epic that it did in uh, Rainbow Rocks and Friendship Games with the way those came to a head. This had a lot lower stakes because it was a simple, I'm getting a bit too carried away doing the right thing for the, uh, you know, in the wrong way sort of thing. You know, right intentions, wrong thing. That's what I meant to say. And so it was easy to sort of um, activate what they needed to and get the power banished and whatever. Whereas in the other two movies, there was someone with uh, villainous intent while, uh, you know, under a lot of rage and stuff. Yeah. yeah, there's like a difference that sort of uh, takes the scale down a little bit, but it was still very entertaining and very fun. And like the others before, I put it above the first movie. Um, I, I was one of those people that actually didn't mind the first movie. I thought it, it was pretty good for what we were all fearing from, you know, making MLP into a human thing. People were like, this is the worst thing ever. This is going to be so cringy. This is going to be so horrible. You know, this is just a blatant toy grab and... You know, people were expecting it to be absolute dog shit. They really were. And for what we were expecting, I I applauded that movie when I saw it. I really did. Especially for Demon Sunset Shimmered. I, th I thought, that, no, that this direction I like. I, I like this. And you know me, I'm a sucker for being a pacifist. I sympathize, I empathize, I give second chances to whomever. You know, throws a sorry my way and... I, I just, I, I instantly forgave her, like I instantly forgave Starlight, I instantly forgave Trixie, I instantly forgave Discord. You know, I have no problem with redemptions. I'm all for someone turning around and being like, no, I can be good. I'm like, well, come here. Like, I love making friends. I love seeing the good in people. You know, I, I am the person that gives the mercy, not the person that puts the bullet in the head. That's that's who I am. You know, so I am always willing to accept things like that. So the, her rushed thing at the end, not a bother on me at all. Not a single bother. So I actually really love the first movie. And then Rainbow Rocks came along with Sunset Shimmer being the awesome character that she was. Totally stealing the show, saving the day. And you know, having her full power up and everything, and then even getting that neat character short uh, after the movie, and then we even dealt with the awesome, like godlike power that she bestowed in Friendship Games, and fought Midnight Sparkle, which was another badass idea. Finally dealing with the human Twilight, so and while it seems that the epicness scale has suddenly gone a bit, it's still up here, you know. What I also loved was what this did with the guy characters, because even though they were love interests, they seemed to have so much actual character. I mean, people got on Flash's case in Rainbow Rocks. They were harsh on him, because I thought he did enough. Others were so, oh, this appearance was so pointless, it's just like the first movie, I hate you, Flash. Uh, did you not 
see his passion for music that was uh, put on display, how he had a real drive to succeed in the contest and uh, you know for the love of his music itself and his uh, own career path. So the guy carries a guitar around with him. Like, we knew this since the first movie when he joined in with his guitar during the uh, classroom song, You Have to Vote for Twilight. He's a musical guy and he obviously takes it seriously and while, of course, under the influence of the sirens to be a bit more angry and competitive, he still took it as a personal insult that Twilight was competing while knowing little to nothing about songwriting. That probably struck him on a personal level and I picked up on that. You, know, you probably don't even know what you're doing. It's like you're making a mockery of Flash's whole life and what he's doing. You know, people don't pick up on this and it really annoys me. You know, I thought that was a really good showing of uh, what he was like. You know, beyond his love with Twilight. And then to see him having, you know, these feelings he was in this movie and, you know, getting advice on moving on from it. This shows more development because he's starting to accept the fact that Twilight belongs in her other world. This is great. And I... I hope people see it. I hope people don't spend this movie bashing him when he comes back on the screen and they actually listen to what's being said because development is happening, fleshing out is happening. It's, he doesn't have to take up half the movie just to adequately flesh him. If we get what we need in however small of a package it takes, we still have what we need. See that we have what we need. Y y you get me. You get me. And I think it's sweet that him and Sunset might be getting back together. Who knows? Because they reached a very natural, organic sounding conclusion to that sort of arc. You know, the, just like uh, Greg and uh, Pearl in Steven Universe, they, they, they had to talk about it and then they got over it. So let, let's just start again. That's awesome! That is cool! And I also liked how the brother had so much character for himself as well, from the love he showed to his sister, to the casual flirting and actually, you know, being nice and interactive with Saitwai, instead of just the goo goo eyes that Flash had in the first movie. This, I, I'm sure people won't mind this, even though they first labelled him as Brad 2.0 because of some blushing screen caps they might have seen beforehand. Yeah, I hope this went a long way to showing people that they learned how to do it right. They really did. Um, I thought he was sweet. I fully got behind the ship as it was developing. And I'm so angry that his sister cut off the kiss before it happened. Because you, Sai Twai, were about to go further with Flash, you know, an equivalent of Flash in one movie than you were able to do in three prior movies. <laughs> Although you didn't show up until after the events of the third movie were done, but yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I just thought that would have been cool. Like, hey, guess what, Pony Twy? Sci Twy got to first base before you did. <laughs> ah, so interesting. I wonder if in the next movie they'll probably tie that in somehow with um, him chatting via video link or uh, on the phone with Saitwai because obviously she's got a gadget so probably. Yeah the powers were cool, um, everything that could be unique and quirky was so, everything was beautifully lighted and animated, the songs were nice on the ear and I really, oh top 10 out of 10 marks for sun, Sunset Song, that, that, oh I am gonna listen to that over and over again when I have the chance. But yeah, good movie, great movie in fact, this was so worth taking up a whole recording slot because um, I'm going to wait and see after I calm down and stop sweating a bit because it's humid and I've had to turn my fan off so I don't have to remove the background noise. I, I, I need to evaluate whether I'm going to have the mental strength to record Ruby Volume 4 Episode 1 because who knows if we're going to start with a bullet train to the fields right off the bat. I don't know. So, yeah. 
until next time, I shall see you guys around.